Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is Tails. So this is a secure operating system. It's a Linux distro. And just like it says right here, Tails is a portable operating system that protects against surveillance and censorship. So we're going to be installing this on VMware Workstation today, or running it. So you can just read through how it works, get Tails documentation support. We're not gonna go through every single thing in here, but we can go through the main things. So uh, it's recommended by, you know, here's some Iowa Snowden, uh, Snowden, and you know, you can go click here, it's free software. You can click on get tails and pretty much installing it can take quite a bit of time, but uh, which operating system you're installing tails from, you can do Windows, uh, Mac OS and Linux and what I'm going to do is I downloaded for a virtual machine so for virtual machines ISO image I downloaded the 1.2 gigabyte file it's just a uh, an ISO file that you can boot right to which we're going to be demonstrating in a moment and obviously you can verify your download you can you know click on Y and you can read you know all this good stuff and you can verify it right here and you can, I can go to my downloads and tells and open, and it can verify that it's just, you know, it's secure and it's good to go. And let's see, let's just make sure this is not a crazy file. We'll give this a moment. And while that, you know, while that's doing its thing, you can verify uh, open PGP is optional and you can download that as well. And you can see instructions for open PGP verification etc but we'll give this a second to verify the download i think it's always the best practice to make sure your stuff is secure so it's only going to take a few more seconds here and then we'll get right to installing it and demoing this in just a moment so we'll give this a second and verify complete so we know your for your security always verify your download right cool so let's minimize this and we can go ahead and x that out and I want to go ahead and open up my VMware workstation, okay? So I want to put it right in my pen testing labs. Uh, I want to go ahead and create a new virtual machine and just go typical. And I want to browse to this machine, I mean to this ISO, tails. And once you, you can do this in a VMware workstation, you can do it with VirtualBox, um, you know, any kind of type two hypervisor that you can utilize to run this image, right? I want to hit next. I want to go ahead and click Linux, and I'm going to use uh, go up a little bit. Uh, I guess I'll do maybe down a little bit. I'll use other Linux uh, 5.x or later, and I'll just put tails here dash vm. And I'm just going to leave it in my default location because after this demonstration, I will be the, uh, removing it. And we can do, we can put, uh, let's put 20 gigs, even though it only needs five, uh, eight gigs. And I wanna do customized hardware. I wanna put two processes just so it runs a little smoother. And I wanna put it up to eight gigs, okay? I'm gonna use NAT for the network connectivity. I wanna remove a printer, I don't need a printer. And that should be good. Let's close here and hit finished. All right, so we can throw this in my pen testing and then we can power this bad boy up and we can just do a little full screen and click in here and click on tails, okay? And this is only takes a few minutes to actually get it up and running. Once you do have this up and running, you can see the operating system that has a whole bunch of cool little things. So we'll give this a moment. And while this does this thing, let's go ahead and um, Go back to the website, okay? And uh, how Tails works, it leaves no trace on your computer and your, se your secure computer anywhere. Uh, pretty much your, your computer is secure anywhere. And to use this, if you wanna have it on a USB stick, if you wanna burn that um, Tails to a USB stick with like Rufus or something like that, 
you would have to shut your machine down, plug the USB in, boot to it, and you can temporarily run that operating system on that machine. But obviously we're gonna be installing or running it in a VM. Okay, let's keep going down. And the digital security toolbox tells includes the selection of applications to work on sensitive documents and communicate securely. So see this little guy here, if you wanna communicate, do everything securely, you can use this operating system as well. So Tails includes Tor Browser with uBlock, a secure browsing, uh, a secure browser, and a not, uh, and a ad blocker. Uh, Thunderbird, which is a alternative to Outlook, that's an email client, and you can use that for encrypted emails. KeyPass XC to create and store strong passwords. Libre Office is an office suite, an alternative to Microsoft Office, but it's Libre, libre I'm guessing free. Um, Onion Share to share files over Tor, the Onion Router, that's what Tor stands for, and many more. Okay, so let's go see if our VM is good to go. Perfect, our VM is good to go. So let's go ahead, let's X out of here, let's make this bit larger. So welcome to Tails. The language is English. Obviously I'm speaking English. So I want to go ahead and start Tails. And once Tails is started, we should see a, a GUI, a graphical user interface of the operating system itself. And we can run some cool stuff on here. And this is it. Obviously this is the not the right time. And I don't know about that. So let's go ahead and for example, let's look at our net network connectivity, wired connection, make sure we have connectivity. We'll give that a moment. And we do, we do have connectivity and that's the net network that I'm using 192.168.100.x and we got assigned dot two. Oh, dot 66, I'm sorry, dot two is my gateway. All right, cool. So if we go to over here to applications, these are the favorites, the Tor browser, which we're gonna be talking about in a second and connecting to that. Um, configure persistent volume, um, Tails documentation, whisper back, error reporting, Tails installer, Thunderbird, just like we just talked about, uh, key pass for, for strong passwords. I didn't mean to click on that, but We'll let that do its thing. So this is a uh, key pass. So you can create a new database. Passwords, for example, 2021 passwords. Let's put um, infosec pat, just for testing purposes. And we can use everything defaulted. That should be fine. Enter password. I'm just gonna put password 2021. Password 2021, just to keep it simple. So now we can keep this uh, database right on, let's put it on desktop. And let's create a new folder for um, passwords 2021, okay? And you see it right here on the desktop. And let's hit save, okay? So now we have that in here. So now we can go ahead and create new entries for example, we can put Facebook and you, you know, you get the point. The username for Facebook is test admin. The password is password and the URL is Facebook. Whoops.com and testing. Okay. Uh, different passwords supplied. Uh, let me see if I do this. Uh, password 2021. Repeat. Password 2021. And hit OK. There we go. So now we have that in our fancy pantsy key pass. Um, uh, a database. Sorry, I just drew a blank. So that's the key pass, okay? So let's go to Tor Browser. The Tor is pretty much the bread and butter of this application of Tails. So we can X out of here now. 
and we'll wait for Tor Browser to open. And as it says right here, you can see that it has the ad blocker. So welcome the tails, right? So if we go ahead and go to Tor Check, we click on this, we'll give that a moment to open up. Okay, it says congratulations, this Tor, uh, this browser is configured to use Tor. And it's giving me this IP address of 135.148.32.171. That's awesome, okay? So now what we can do is we can go ahead and copy this and we can just go for an example to, um, let's go to DuckDuckGo. Okay, that's like a, an alternative to Google, you know, so it doesn't trace your stuff, it doesn't track anything. But let's see what is my IP. Okay, so once we go here, we can just see the public IP address and we can see where it's given us. So it's located in France and it's given us this IP address. Let's see if that's the same one as here. Nope, it's not, but maybe it changed. So it's the Youngman router, so it goes through different um, IPs and different hops. All right, so there's a unique, let's see if we can go back to DuckDuckGo <coughs> and let's go to Onion um, Directory. I think it's called the Onion Directory. And it should give us a URL for the deep web search. So we can see different kind of communication to actually connect to these services. And obviously, you know, there's different kinds of uh, applications out there, different kinds of stuff. And this is how you would browse through the dot onion. You see that? So if you see here, it says onion and it's asking to put in the capture, which I can't really, I think it's LWVW9. Let's see. I'm not sure if that worked. We'll give it a second. And I'm not really sure, but you get the idea. You guys can use um, this kind of anonymizer to be anonymous. So, you know, you're not really tracked of what you're doing and just to keep your data more secure if you're doing anything like online banking or anything online that you want to remain safe and secure. So let's just do a few more little um, utilities. Let's see. Uh, passwords and keys and you can just go to you know you, you can just utilize this and check it out for different kinds of ways to GTX hash and you can check different hashes if you have a hash and go on you know so on and so forth so that's pretty much it this is how you run the application of tails or run the operating system and hopefully this has been informative for you guys and thank you for checking me out Please like, subscribe, share, you know, hit the smash the subscribe button and like it and share it and do all that mumbo jumbo. And uh, if you have any inquiries of what kind of videos you'd like to see, just let me know and I would not be or be more than happy to try to put some out there. I got a few inquiries on um, Tails, so here you go and hopefully you guys enjoyed it, whoever asked for it. I appreciate it. Thank you guys.